Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So I've got a screenshot up on the screen, right? And I'll explain it right now. So today is the day before Easter Sunday, right? It's the resurrection of Christ. Well, he had some interesting words. Assume that you take the words in the Bible literally. But the parables are often ageless. So, Matthew 6, 24 through 26, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And mammon is money, possessions, fame, status, whatever, power. You can't serve two masters at once. And you can actually take those two masters part and say you can't serve profits and, I don't know, progressive agendas at the same time. The larger you get, the harder it is to do. Now, why is that? If you're a small company and you want to put politics into your gaming, yeah, you'll alienate some fan base, but you're also going to excite some part of that fan base. By the way, the background noise is the dog just pat pattering away on the uh, on the tile floor here, and that can be effective for a small company. But a large company who needs to attract a large fan base is often best off steering away from politics. We've seen this, right? We've seen this recently. When you step into politics, progressive issues, conservative issues, it doesn't make a difference where you're stepping into. You are going to alienate a portion of your base or your potential base, and you're not going to get more sales from the customers that you've actually pleased by taking that stand. So, now, we'll look a little bit deeper here. Hasbro, as of the end of the year, Vanguard Group has over 11% of ownership of Hasbro. Capital Research Global Investors has just over 11%. BlackRock, you all know BlackRock, right? And BlackRock's buying up property throughout the country. They're in for the money. These are all these are all investing. These are all entities that are in it to make money. BlackRock, just over 10%. State Street, just over 5%. So somewhere just under 40% of Hasbro is major investors that are in it for the return. They're not in it to make stances in social justice or make a conservative stance or make a progressive stance. They're in it for the return on the investment. Return on investment on a company like Hasbro, a company like Wizards of the Coast, means... Let's appeal to the largest fan base. Now, why do I think, this is going to be my opinion, why do I think Wizards of the Coast is having such a rough time? Because on the one level, the not, not the executive level, on the management level, they have hired people who make statements such as I can't wait to uh, white men are out of gaming, right? They talk about uh, the 50th anniversary d, d historical book being something that, oh, well, if we could change the content, we would, but sadly it's historical. Now, why would you make comments like that if you're looking to make a profit? Well, you know what? People on that level aren't necessarily – as concerned about the prophets as they are about what is essentially their religion. And that's fine. 
However, when you look at Watson, now admittedly this is from two years ago, so it still it still shows Chris Cox in his position at Watson. But I'm going to show something. I find it very interesting because for a company that many people call woke, I don't call Watson woke. I think they try to do some things that are signaling that they'd like to be woke, but they aren't woke. And I'll show you why I say that. Because from two years ago, we have the Executive Coast, the Wizards of the Coast executive team. And I'm not sure. I don't think I can make it any bigger, but I will. I think you can read the names. Um, Chris Cox, uh, white man. You, that CEO, vice president, first vice president listed, white man, next vice president, white man, next vice president, white man, next vice president, white man, next senior vice president, brand, global brand strategy marketing, white man, global sales and trade, uh, trade marketing, white man, head of kid studio, white woman. Okay. Research and Development, Vice President, White Man. Vice President of Research and Development, White Woman. Digital Marketing, Asian Woman. VP Legal, White Man. White Man Vice President, White Man Vice President, White Man Vice President. Singer Vice President, White Man. Singer Vice President, White Man. Singer, oh, regular Vice President, White Man. And Human Resources Vice President, White Man. So what does that tell you? So know what it tells me. It tells me that for some strange reason, those that want to make the money, right, those that are serving money are essentially, wow, surprise, surprise, white men in a position of authority. But on the management level of the company on a daily basis, they put in mostly probably white men who are serving, again, what is essentially their religion. So you have a company that wants to have progressive ideals on one level and wants to make money on the other level. One that signals that they want to get rid of white males from position of authority within the company, and the other shows the company is stuck full of white males. Obviously, the president now is Cynthia Williams, a white woman. Watsi is not woke, folks. Watsi is not woke. Watsi is not progressive. Watsi is the same as every other scum bucket company that you want to refer to out there. They are in it for the money, and they have to be. They're investors want to make money. They're not looking to take a loss. And if the current environment continues for Watsi, the management of the company, those that are trying to make a change and aren't worrying about the profits are probably going to be losing their positions. We don't even, they could have lost their positions in the last purge, but the thing is, You've got to appeal to the largest customer base. And that means you appeal to people on the left and the right. You, you appeal to the progressives and the conservatives and the vast majority of people that want to stay out of politics and don't want politics in their gaming, don't want politics in their hobbies, don't want politics in their investing. You know, if you're investing money, you just want to make money. That's pretty much the reason why you're investing it, because you want more of it. So can you serve two masters? Can you? You can. You can if you're a small company, and that's what you want to talk. You want to target to conservative gamers. We're going to appeal to conservative gamers or progressive gamers. We want to appeal to progressive gamers. You can make your political stance, your religious stance. And like I said, for many, this has become a new religion. Left or right, makes no difference. 
you can take that religious stance at your size, and you can kind of serve two masters. But a company like Wati can't. A company that watch like Wati serves mammon. A company like Wati serves money. That's what they are in service to. And at some point, at some point, those that are truly in charge of the company are going to realize where the issues lie. And that's why when people get this like, well, if, if Watsi is so progressive, then why aren't they more progressive? This is very, this is why it's entrenched at the top. Whether you agree with it or not, that is the fact. That is the fact. And that is why Watsi's core identity is so screwed up. And that's why they can't put out good products. Because they're trying to serve two masters at the same time. And it's not working out. Not working out well at all. Folks, there was no live stream tonight. It's the fifth Friday. It's like a holiday. Um, but oh, it's like East, Easter's the day after tomorrow. Whatever. It's Easter weekend. It's Good Friday. Um, folks, as always, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll the dice. Roll them well. And tell me what you think. Can you serve two masters at this high a level, at this high of a corporate level? Again, my stance is if you're a one-man show, two-man show, five-man show, sure, you can serve two masters. But once you reach a certain size, you can't afford to give up market because of your politics. And I think that's the issue that Watsi is going through. And I think that's why it's so confusing. Of a company at times. Tell me what you think. I'd like to hear it. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll the dice. Rolling well. Later, folks. <laughs>